Hi, Eagles everywhere. I'm Eagles insider Dave Spadaro with Eagles third round draft pick linebacker, Nicobe Dean. Nicobe, nice to meet you virtually. Looking forward to getting you in Philadelphia. Great smile. Uh, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling good, you know, I'm feeling blessed, you know, to have, to have this position to be picked by such a great organization in the Eagles. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be an Eagle. All right, let's talk about you and your football career. Uh, really interesting career. Superstar in high school, five-star recruit. Would you compare that process at all to the way things have played out in the NFL draft? I mean, all of the days and months and conversations you've had, workouts you've done, does it measure up at all? I mean, not, not at all, but just because, you know, in, in college, you you picking. So they kind of catering to you in, in the league. Uh, they picking, so there's it's no catering. <laughs> but at the same time, you know, you, you got to um, – it, it's been a whole – this whole process has been a learning uh, experience, you know, my first experience with the, uh, the NFL. So uh, this, this whole experience has just, you know, has done nothing, but I feel like made me a better person and it going to visually made me a better player. I do want to talk about your football career, but I also would like to start here to talk about your academics. Always been a big part of your life, 355 GPA, mechanical mm -hmm. engineering. Where did the uh, academic importance, where was that instilled in you? It, it was definitely my mother. Growing up from a young age with my mother, she, uh, it was always academics. It was always academics. It was never football. She always pushed uh, academic, academic, academics. So uh, it, it wasn't even until uh, I got my first offer where um, that my family actually started looking at me like, okay, I can be good at this. It was never pushing to be a um, a, a professional a professional athlete. It was always a doctor, engineer, or an architect. What age did you start playing football? I started at young. I, I was probably I started playing flag football probably like four. Flag football. So what? What? When did you first tackle somebody? Oh. Uh, not, not tackling. We, we was always tackling in the backyard, tackling uh -huh. each other. But uh, as far as organized flag, uh, tackle football, I probably was like nine, nine or ten. Were you always the best player on the field? Never. I I, I was never always the best player. Uh, probably when I when I finally when I got to high school and everything, and after a couple of years, I kind of became one, and I and I try to push myself to be the best player, just like. Well, when I get to the Eagles and I get to the league, I'm going to push myself to be the best player in the league. But uh, it was never. It was always I had to work. Never been the biggest. Uh, never been the strongest. Never been the fastest. So it's always been work, work, work. And you think that that is what has separated you, Nicobe, the fact that you have that work ethic, that want to be great? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. It's, it's definitely my, uh, you know, the, the, the chip I play with on my shoulder, you know, just being where I come from being who I am, you know, being being the person I want to be, you know, be great and succeed in everything I want to do, not just uh, not just in football, but in life. I feel like that that kind of uh, allows me to get to this point I am now and it's going to allow me to uh, be successful in the future also. You're a Gatorade All-American Player of the Year in high school. You go to Georgia. You look around, everybody's a five-star recruit. Was there kind of like a welcome to the big-time moment that you can recall? Um, I'll probably say, you know, uh, Spring practice, I first got there. Um, they, they were sending me in on like eight guy blitzes, and I had like no moves. I had like no finesse to myself. And I just remember Solid uh, McKin uh, Kinley uh, just knocking me off. And I'm thinking, like, what in the, what have I got myself into? And, and, and also, um, I'd be like sleepy from doing homework all day from all night and I just stay up and I just had to mature and just find a good bedtime because there was nobody telling me to go to sleep. And um and I remember Coach Smart coming to me and was like, um, I, I can tell you sleepy, you got your homework, you're doing homework all night. And I'm like, yeah. And he was like, I don't care. And he was like, okay, yeah, I got to work. You know, I got to uh, do what I got to do to be great on the field, but also all. Is that the kind of, you know, um, coaching that you respond to that is, hey, we need more out of you, we want more out of you. Is that what you, do you like that kind of coaching? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, um, I feel like I feel like I have got the, the 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 as far as the tough the toughest way you can be coached and where they want you to be better uh, and actually coach you. I feel like I've got it. You know everything from I got experience Coach Mark, who's the rah rah rah. Then I got I had Coach Schumann, was which was my linebacker coach. Um, he was kind of a little bit mellowed out, but he still got at you. So um, it was never a patch on the back, no matter how good you were doing. It was always you can do this better. You made this play. You got this pick six but you could have got to the end zone faster if you took this step or you could have read the play faster. You got a, uh, okay, you got a sack, but you could have got a sack fumble. 
So it was always that. It was never pat yourself on the back and uh, what you can do. So, yeah, and I'm just ready to work, you know. As far as the NFL, I have done nothing. So I'm on back to square one time to get to work. Before we talk about the NFL and how you might fit in with the Eagles and what you bring to this team, Georgia and Alabama, a great rivalry. How much fun did you have playing in those games and how great was it to finally dethrone the Crimson Tide and to win a national championship? Definitely, it, it was great. You know, it was great uh, to win the national championship. That was my biggest thing, you know. Uh, for me, it was winning the national championship. It was never just trying to beat uh, just trying to be Alabama. They just happened to be there. So, uh, but having them there, you know, it, it, it definitely creates a, a a great big rivalry. You know, it was always uh, a heavyweight bout when we played them going back and forth. It was always a good body shot type of game. And, you know, them type of games I work uh, live for. Philadelphia Eagles fans uh, known to be very passionate. Some would say maybe a little bit crazy. Was it like that at Georgia too? Oh yeah, definitely. The Georgia fans, they they run deep and they and they and they travel too. All right, Nicobe, you are now a member of the Philadelphia Eagles. For those who don't know you, I don't know mm -hmm. how they couldn't know you. You're on TV every week at Georgia. Uh, what do you bring to this football team? I mean, uh, other than my, you know, athletic ability and everything I do on the field as far as tackling and coverage and all things like that, I feel like I'm a bit I'm a bring of a you know, winning mentality in my, you know, I feel like my mindset is second to none as far as uh, wanting to be uh, successful in what I got to do is be successful. Like I said this before, but I do uh, anything legal to win. So, you know, I'm, I'm ready to I'm ready to get to work in and uh, just just show the, uh, show the Eagles why I was uh, such a great pick. Has the the dream always been there to play in the NFL for you? Oh, uh, definitely, definitely. It's always uh, I want I want to say as a, as a young age, I used to be like I just want to um, I just want to be a doctor. I just want to uh, be a, a mechanical engineer or something like that. And it's kind of like. It kind of developed over time. Okay, I want to be a professional athlete, but I also want to do this. So it was like, it has always been a dream of mine, but uh, one of my goals has been to be su successful in the, in the NFL. And when I say successful, if, if I'm able to complete all my goals, then I feel like I'm successful and I'm happy. So um, being drafted to the NFL is just one, one of the stepping stones to uh, uh, coming to my overall goal. So, so finally here, how do you feel? I mean, you, you I would imagine, thought you were going to go a little bit higher in the draft, a little sooner. Mm -hmm. um, so how, how, what have you learned about yourself here these last two nights? Kind of have Man. to be patient. Yeah, it was, it was definitely, it was definitely nerve wracking, you know? It was definitely nerve wracking. I feel like it was, uh, it was just as nerve wracking as my, for my parents and my, uh, and my mother, just being, just seeing my mother's face as um, I was skipped by and, because of because of the things that were not necessarily true, but wasn't necessarily communicated right. So just just little things like that kind of it kind of it almost it almost let it get to me a little bit. But um, being able to hear my name and uh, hear my name and getting that call, I, it just all that all that anxiety, all that nerves just went away. You know, uh, just that grateful feeling came over. me. I feel like you're gonna get here to Philadelphia and you're gonna be running a hundred miles an hour every minute of the day. I mean, what I, what I got to do to be successful, whatever I got to do. I love it. Hey, but by the way, Jordan had his ring on. Like, do you wear your championship ring? Like, where is it? I I do, but I don't have it on now. Okay. I don't have it on now. It's in the other, it's in the other room with everybody else. I All my, right. I think I got my ring. It was, I mean, you got, that's like your prized possession right now. But now it's, <laughs> the job is to come win a Super Bowl ring with the Philadelphia oh, yeah. Eagles. Yeah, yeah. That's the number one job. Yeah. Love it. When the Super Bowl. I, I plan to bring a couple Super Bowls. To, I will, to, uh, <laughs> we'll take whatever you got, man. Nicole, yes. great smile. Great meeting you. Look forward to seeing you at Rookie Camp here next week. Thank you so much for joining and congratulations on being a Philadelphia Eagle. Definitely. Thank you.